I am back with millionaire matchmaker Patty Stanger, and Patty has three rules for finding love after 40. Here we go. Number one, we can put it on the screen. There we go. Number one is accepting baggage. Yes. So that means like children and yes, children, illness. illness. Mm -hmm. um, it could be anything from you know, maybe their job's not as great. You know, maybe they're retired. Maybe, for instance, like a lot of times women get into relationships with men and they talk about their exes, which they're not supposed to. Men but men kind of are compulsive. They want you to know they're you know you're getting good stock. So they have to talk about their dating war stories. Okay, so they make it feel like they've been yeah, somebody else Yeah, but don't, don't discount a guy like doing that because it really he doesn't mean anything by it. The other one was be aggressive. You want the women to be aggressive? Well, I mean, it, what aggressive means to get out there. It doesn't mean to go out and, you know, capture your man and take him home. And, and then put him number in a cage. three is, mm -hmm. what do you mean by ignore his birthday? I mean, if his birthday comes no, along, you don't tell him happy birthday? Well, it, it means ignore his age. I'm ah. dating someone eight years younger. Mm. And sometimes you date someone eight years older. Don't be such an ageist, which is the biggest problem I have on my show. All the men are ageists. All right, let's take some calls. Anthony in Missouri. Anthony, you there? Yes, I am. Hey, Dr. Anthony. Drew. What's going on? You got Patty Stanger here. Well, hi, Patty. How are you mm. this evening? Sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Um, you know something, Patty? I, d I did want to say one thing about um, what you were saying about, uh, uh, first of all, at, at the age of 40, the one thing I, I'm, I think is you can find love at 20, you can find love at 40, you can find love at 50. It doesn't matter. As long as you still learn or know how to live life, you will be able to find love. Well, and yeah, and Patty said too, also have a sense of who you want to meet and that kind of person will show up. Hey, greatest couple I ever fixed up with great expectations was 82 years old. And, you know, they went out with a bang till they passed away. And love can happen in any age. Brenda in Washington. Brenda. Hi, Dr. Drew. How are you? Good, Brenda. What's going on? Well, question for Patty. I'm 41. I have three kids, and I've justified pretty much over the last 10 years of being divorced that they were they needed my full priority and my full attention. So I've kind of been out of the dating scene and sporadically dated. I, I now bet, and then, I bet that is very, very common. Very common. Yep. Yeah. So now that I'm kind of back out there mm -hmm. feeling better about where I'm at in life, I'm wondering how do I, I've kind of set some expectations okay. and I think I've set them too high maybe. What's your expectations? Um, well, that somebody has a job. Oh, that's too no, high? I don't that's, think that's not too high. high. That's good. No, that's normal. <laughs> but, you know, just that, um, does he have you to know, do an Abercrombie that, model? <laughs> no, no. That, you know, but I do have like things that I look for in a man as far as looks are concerned. Okay. And I, I want somebody to be funny. And there's just a, a laundry list of things I would like to have in a, in a man. Um, but I feel like maybe um, I've set my standards too high, and I don't know if I'm just being setting them too high. Okay, Brenda, let, let me, let me, I'm, I'm reading something in your call. How does a woman know if she set her standards too high? Well, when, the, li when the list is 100 things long. Well, but she's yeah. saying, I think, I don't know, I'm not meeting the right guy. Do I have to, when do you know you have to adjust that well, list? Well, when you know you have to adjust it is when, you know, nobody's showing up that's not even in your ballpark. You know, if you're looking for the, to you know, Brad Pitt, he doesn't exist. There's one Brad Pitt. So I think what people need is five non-negotiables and then call it a day. Such as? Well, I mean, job means someone who's financially secure. Okay. Okay. Someone who puts her first, maybe. Maybe in her past relationships they didn't put her first. Someone who accepts her children. Yeah. You want someone who's going to say, I'd love to be a great stepdad. Maybe he doesn't have kids and this is something he always wanted. And then there's religion. There's like where you're going to live. Okay. What's Got the it. future going to be like? It's got to be non-negotiable. Stick with that, those. Those are serious things. You cannot. They're deal breakers, basically. Kathy. In Connecticut. Kathy? Hello, Dr. Drew. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say definitely yes. I'm a late bloomer. I fell in love and married my soulmate at the age of 41. Oh. Good for you. Had, had two children at age 43, 46, Ooh. natural birth. Wow. wow. No hormones. Wow. And we're coming up on our 10th year anniversary, and we still treat each other like newlyweds. Oh, I love these stories. These are the great stories that you got to perpetuate forward to say it happened to her, it can happen to me. Kathy, thank you for that call. And Patty, thank you. Thank you for having the me. The website okay. is, it's, yeah, we're going to, we'll see you again. Don't worry. PattyKnows.com and a new season of Bravo's The Millionaire Matchmaker will debut in January. Again, PattyKnows.com.